We Seek Wisdom podcast, and I would like to remind you, if you're finding these a help, please click the subscribe button you find below, and then click that thumbs up button and tell folks about this podcast so that they can receive benefit from it as well. Well, this time we have an interesting story from your life uh, about a missionary. Who, who are we le- learning about today? Yeah, and I think, uh, Tim, that it helps people to know a little bit more about us as mm-hmm. to why we're doing what we're doing and why we're analyzing the music where we are. And a lot of you are following it for that. But knowing the background that both Tim and I have in music theory and composition and the places where we've been, I think it will help you to know that. And this is something about my Uncle Henry. That was my father's oldest brother. He was a pioneer missionary with his wife, Ruth, in Liberia, West Africa, for many years. In fact, he was there probably close to 50 years altogether. The miracles that are recounted in the book, Before We Can Eat You, are not far-fetched. There is that book, and I think you're going to mention that they think they they might be able to get that book as well, right? Hmm. From Amazon, perhaps. Before We Can Eat You. The cannibalistic natives actually had captured my Uncle Henry and were going to kill him and eat him. Wow. (laughs) As the hideous witch doctor incited the people to kill and eat this white man, God led my Uncle Henry to say something in their language that caused the people to say, quote, please do not harm us. We see that your God has power and fights for you. What can we do to atone for mistreating you, end quote. Now, my uncle Henry was a Pentecostal, but don't let the Pentecostalism in the book, which is still there, by the way, Mm -hmm. get you away from the book, because what he says is genuine. Mm -hmm. In fact, through his ministry and the power of the gospel, my uncle Henry and his wife, Ruth, were able to erase cannibalism in that whole part of Africa. Great. Isn't that fascinating? That's good. In my autobiography, the Lord led me to mention something that I want to include in this podcast. I hope it will inspire you to get my ebook recording of the whole book. Mm-hmm. Here is the true story, as close as I could come, to how it originally appeared. Picture Kide, <laughs> I think that's the way you say his African name, mm-hmm. with only a loincloth, his head with a hundred or more pigtails, oil with palm oil, and cow dung. To kill the lice. Wow. That's that's how they kill lice, by putting cow dung on it. Wow. He is very demonstrative with the motions he uses to answer Ruth. So here we go with the story of Kide and Ruth. Here's what Ruth says. Kide, I be a stranger for your country, and I know savvy all your country fashion. You fit to help me learn your country fashion? I fit. Before I come to this town, I hear a long time how palm people, you eat somebody. It be true? Palm people eat somebody? You try to trap me? Make fun of Kide? No, no, Kide. You help me learn palm fashion. You sure you no trick me? Laugh at me? Kide, it be no palaver. We come to help pond people. Every people got different, different fashion. I only want to know how your country fashion be. Maybe I know here too. I be a stranger. You be friend for mission, so I ask you, it be true? It no be true. Pond people eat somebody? It be true. We eat somebody. You yourself, Kade? You ever eat somebody? I eat people. You eat people? Who you eat? When we got some war, my arm on this side fight other arm on this side. We catch somebody from other side and chop him. Put him close so I can eat him. Oh, I see. Then someday you go vex for me, and then you go chop me. Oh, no, madam. You be white woman. We no like white meat. (laughs) (laughs) Isn't that interesting? Uh Evidently, the tribe who wanted to kill and eat my Uncle Henry, Mm -hmm. whose husband, 
did like white meat. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. They were going to kill him, but Kide, as one of the pond people, it wasn't, I've forgotten the name of the tribe of the one Uncle Henry was with, but his his people, the witch doctor was coming after him, mm-hmm. and they, they, they were going to kill him and eat him until he said something in their language that he did not know. He may have even spoken... I have another missionary that uh, we may mention somewhere along name. He was name was Tommy Whitcomb. Mm-hmm. He came to Pensacola years ago, mm-hmm. and uh, he had led over a, a hundred thousand people to the Lord. Oh wow! That's great. And he quote he loved to quote Psalm ninety one. Mm-hmm. And one day he quoted it. He quoted Psalm one in English, and the man put the put the knife down and let me go free. Oh wow! Good. It was so powerful. Good. That's the way God works. Oh, yes. We give something to God and He uses it. Yes, He does. Good.